Hey, Russell fam. In today's video, we're going to do a day in a life of a homeschool mom. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time I upload a new video and it lets me know if y'all are liking this content that I am putting out for you. On this channel, we do homeschooling and homemaking and everything in between. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. In today's video, I'm going to take you along with us through our day, through our homeschool life, from where I get up in the morning to if I remember to film at night, because most of the time, by the time we get home from karate and eat supper, I usually totally forget to film the end of the day. So let's see if I remember to film that or not. So let's get started with my day. Good morning, Russell fam. It is 540. Time to get this party started at the gym. All right, that gym workout is over. Now it's time to go home, get Mike up, get him gone, get some coffee, get the kids up and get school started. I got Mike's lunch packed. You just saw that. I've got my coffee. The kids are asleep. It is time to do some blog work, some video work, and then I'll get the kids up. We'll do breakfast. Then we'll do school. Time to work on the Russell's Loving Life blog and edit some videos on YouTube. Now it's time to get some bacon going. Leave me a comment below. Do you bake your bacon in the oven or do you fry it on the skillet? I have found that baking it in the oven for 20 minutes at 400 makes it perfectly flat and I don't have to worry about grease flipping all over or splattering all over me. So I'm gonna get this bacon done so I can have this done for Bailey's breakfast for omelets this week. And uh, if you have not seen my meal prep before, I will leave it up in the iCard. That is where I make Becca's sausage for the week because she likes to eat a sausage and roll. While I'm waiting on the oven to preheat, I am going to unload this dishwasher from last night's dishes. Now that the bacon is in the oven, the kids are asleep. I am going to do my five minute devotional for homeschool moms. If you have not seen this book before, I'll show you a quick flip through. I'll leave a link to Amazon down in the description box so you can get it. I love this book. I have been reading it. Let me get to the, and it's only five minutes that you can sit. And here's the table of contents that kind of shows you what is in this book. And we'll just start with who is in control. So here is your little verse that you will read about. And then over here, there's your scripture for meditation. You break out your Bible and read that. And then here's your prayer for today. 
And that is it for the little five minute devotional. So this is a must have if you do not have it. And I wanted to show you these other books. I don't think I've done these in any of my homeschool videos yet, but it's called My Kids Prayer Journal. And so what we do, I'm not gonna show you theirs, but what you do is you open it up and you write the date and you write today I and whatever they want to do today. Today I am thankful for, and you write down what they're thankful for or they can do it. And then today I'd like to pray for, and then this is who they want to pray for. So I'll also leave this down in the link below or description box below. It's 100 Days of Prayers. And I think this is an amazing book for any age child. And the last one I wanted to share with you, it is Q and it's questions for three years. So every day there's a question. Let's, see. Let's go to October because we've done some of these and some of them we haven't. Okay, so you would write October the 20th and then you would write 2021 for this year and you would ask them the question. Have you tried anything new lately? What? And then they answer. And the next year, when October 20th rolls around, you ask them the same question. And same for the third. And so the 21st is, do you have any enemies? Who? And let's see. Uh, what holiday do you look forward to the most? What famous person would you like to talk with? And so this is just a cute little book that you can look back at from years to come of questions that they have asked. It's conversation starters. So um, if your kids are having something that's on their heart and they're not quite sure how to tell you, there's questions in here that y'all can just start a topic about and go from there. So I'll leave this one down there too. So I'm fixing to do my devotional and wait on the bacon to get done and get the kids up and get ready for school. Just got the bacon out of the oven and this is how it comes out when I bake it. Yummy.
We are done with school. We are done with lunch. And now we are fixing to go run some errands. I just got dressed. Sorry for the scariness this morning, but that's how it looks when I wake up. Now I got my shower, got my hair done. Time to go run some errands. from running our errands and I wanted to show y'all this. This is something sweet that our library has started doing since they're not getting so many kids inside because of everything that's been going on lately. They do a weekly project and so when we go to pick up books, I order them online, I pull up, I do curbside, I call them and tell them I'm there and then they bring the books out to me and um, what I do is, uh, here's, here's an example of a project. Here is the Frosty the Snowman, or as it said, do you want to build a snowman? So here was this one. And uh, last week's, which the kids have not done yet, is building a penguin. So they cut it out for them. They drew it. They gave them the cotton balls, the nose. Here's one of the eyes. There's the other one. So they have not done this one yet. And we just got back from the library, and I wanted to show you they usually either come in a bag or a folder or something like that. And so this week it is a bear. And so I haven't looked at it yet. Let's see what all is in here. So they've given us the construction paper. They have given us the bear. And here are the eyes. They have even given us the ears. And they cut everything out so the kids don't even have to do that. And then they put the nose, and then you just draw the little mouth. And so I thought that was so cute and so sweet of our library. So I just wanted to share this with you. Now we're fixing to get ready and have a snack, get ready for karate, and then head that way. Well, we are sitting here at karate, and we got to class early. So we did our read aloud here in the van. So thanks to the awesome mamas that suggested the wild robot. We are reading it and loving it. Can you believe it? I actually remembered to record. We just got home from karate, finished supper. The kids are doing their reading and getting ready for bed. I'm fixing to finish um, doing a few things that I need to do with some clothes and laundry. And then I'm fixing to go to bed and start my day all over again because I've got to hit the gym at 5.30 in the morning. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.